Hi everybody, I am Fajar Purnama and on this video I would like to demonstrate how to use on using VirtualBox in Windows 10 and to try using Ubuntu, Ubuntu in VirtualBox so you can download VirtualBox on this side and after that you install mm. download if version 5.1 doesn't work for you then you can try version 4.3 well some of uh, virtual box might not work on windows First, it may be because of the Windows itself, like you may probably have installed a lot of programs. So, may, so maybe you should try on a clean Windows installation. And here, after this, just read everything, and then if you agree, just click next. And this is what I choose, but you can freely choose and then proceed with the installation install yes and by the way virtual box is one of a what you call virtualization if you don't want to if you don't want to install multiple OS on your PC dividing hard disk by the way, um, virtual, this virtual box will ask you to install some drivers first hand, but I already got the drivers installed. So for me, just keep yes on everything. Now after this finish, just start Oracle VM and then after installation. And now we have this. Normally, uh, virtual box if you uh, give you a message to restart but if it doesn't give you a message like this anyway just to restart your PC so let me restart ok now after we restart we can now start the virtual box by the way I'm using cam studio to record this video and I'm using a Cam Studio lossless codec for uh, so it won't be too heavy. Hey, where is it? Oh well, I just go to the folder then. It'll be in C, program files, Oracle, Google Box, and here it is, Google Box. And then here it is. To start off, just new. And now I want to uh, Ubuntu um, 16.10. It's a uh, Linux and Ubuntu 64. Okay, next. Memory size, I'll put 2. Okay. 3 gigabyte then or maybe 4 you see I have a initially I have a 4 gigabyte of ROM but I had another 8 
Now I have 12. This is not a good situation. I create a new virtual hard disk. I'm using a virtual box this image, there also other stuff. And normally I choose twenty gigabyte. Twenty gigabyte is uh, really is kind of standard. Okay, I'm stuck in 99%. Let me pause the video for a while then. Okay, now we got the recording. And if you know, we will. Looks like it creates. Looks like the folder for the virtual image is in the C user, my username, and call virtual box. And the virtual box image is uh, the VDI. This is a good thing that dynamically located, so it doesn't take much at first. And after that, you first you need to set the virtual machine. Okay, mm, take a look of, and if it's okay for you, then just skip. For the pro for the memory this much okay processor okay acceleration maybe I'll add more to 16 128 megabyte for the video memory I'll enable 3D acceleration but this is all up to you you can leave it default as you want what you need is this one here you have a for your virtual drive and here is your virtual uh, CD-ROM I would insert the Ubuntu this image I put in downloads and this one so it will put on this here is the sound, the network uh, defaultly it will be using NUT If you want to speak just among, you want to speak just among a virtual machine and this laptop, you there is a host only adapter. Internal network is only internally between the Im image between the virtual machines. And the bridge adapter, if you want to have two interface, one for the PC and one for the and one for the virtual machine but for now let's leave it def default considering you don't need to do anything but the network just not but if you want to just speak between your between your network and the virtual machine use a host only better for me uh, I don't need it now and this one and this one and this one okay by the way in the there is in file there is a preference where you can see other settings as well the input this is the shortcut and the virtual machine and whatever there is an update you will check corrupted or not the language and there is a display and the network and if you're using a host only adapter here it is you can check 
that the adapter IP is this one. There is a DHCP server, but I won't be using net for now to make it simple. So after everything is done, just start the virtual machine. And then F12 to boot. There is first is to boot into the hard disk. But remember that we put uh, Ubuntu this image into the CD-ROM, so we go to the CD-ROM C. So press C, and it'll boot here. And here on the right, on the right bottom, there are some stuff that you can set. take a look and here are some settings also Okay, uh, we are in uh, Ubuntu, install Ubuntu. And this one, I don't want to download the people installing, and also I don't want to connect to the internet. I want uh, just a quick install. So continue. Here, you, if it's your first time installing Ubuntu, you can erase this and it's all Ubuntu, use this option or you want to do something else but I have showed, showed you in the other video where to install Ubuntu and external drive I'll go for the recommended setting just erase this and install Ubuntu for the virtual box so now and this is the recommended setting one is an external drive, one is a swap and then nothing more. Continue. Now I'm currently in Yangon, but I think I'll be going back to Japan. Nah, I'll put Yangon for now. I'll change it later. Now oh, where is it? Bangkok should be here. And I'm going to use English US. Continue. Let's see, and you'll be. My name is a jar minus Rama. Okay. The problem is we just put Rama into a box. Okay. Good for me. Pick a username. My username is. I'll use this. Okay. Then. Ah, this is too long. I'll forget. Okay. Then choose a password. your password and continue and then that's it for the process all you need to do is just wait and you can see all the details here mm -hmm. So let me stop the video and then give you when it's done. Uh, okay, installation is installation is complete. Now just install the virtual machine.
and it says please remove the installation medium looks like it's already removed for us the CD filter roll CD is empty and so just press enter and now we don't need to F12 just let it run on the on the virtual disk and the uh, Ubuntu will start Now I have my own virtual machine with a uh, Ubuntu 16.10 installed. Maybe for the first time it'll take a while. And so after you install this virtual machine, you have a Ubuntu virtual machine running. You can now let me shut down. Now you can export this virtual machine using the export appliance. Next and choose anything you like and then just next next and it'll be exported into a .ova file. Or for me just copying the just copying Yes, copying this VDI works for me, but for uh, safely or formally, we just we export the appliance and stuff, and you can import that into another virtual machine. And that's it for the video and.